little lambs. Welcome to Miss Adina's Little Lambs class. Today we're going to be reading The Little Engine That Could. Have you guys read this story before? It's our son's favorite bedtime story. So, without further ado, here we go. The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper with New Art by Lauren Long. Wow, look at that grass and all those trees. I wonder what season it is. Looks like it might be, maybe it's the end of summer, the trees are still green. Here's piles of hay here. Maybe it looks like the sun is setting because of the shadows and the art. The little engine that could. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy train and she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. Wow, look at that beautiful happy train. And look at all the things that were inside the train. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, check knives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. Oh, yummy. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Uh-oh. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and all the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together, please shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train? Over the mountain, our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train has sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and the dolls felt. Then the little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed. I am a fright engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. 
These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. Look how sad that made the little engine, the little train. Oh, he's so sad. And the fright engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The fright engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little. Perhaps he can help us. I don't know if you guys can see him, but here's the broken down train and here's the old train right there. There he is, he made it. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy rusty old engine stopped. Please kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And he, and off he rumbled to the roundhouse chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very sad and the dolls and toys were all ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one, but maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. Then she saw the toy clown's flag. She stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, 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 can you help us, little blue engine? I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and she pulled and she pulled and she tugged and slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and toys, toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster and faster and faster, the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. The end. There's a little blue wrench. Thank you for listening to the little blue engine with us.
the little engine that could. Even if sometimes you think something is too hard, don't give up, just keep trying. And if you need help, just keep asking. Keep finding people that will help you and you will make it happen. For today's mindfulness cards, we will be doing the breath by breath exercise Pause in the present moment. It's from our Open Your Heart section. And it's about taking a moment to live in the moment, in this moment, today. Is everyone ready? Show me how you guys take a really deep breath. Are you ready? One, we'll do it together. Two, three. That felt great. All right, everyone ready? Step one, any day, any time, you can take three soft, slow, mindful breaths and watch life flow. Step number two, your breaths help you pause and notice where you are and what is going on right now. Step number three, you are never in yesterday or tomorrow. You are here now. If something from yesterday upsets you, now is the time to notice your thoughts or feelings about it and work with them or let them go. Step number four, breathe in, breathe out. Let memories of yesterday fly away from your heart and fade away. Notice this moment now. Step five, if something about tomorrow worries you, Remind yourself that you can only change what is happening right now. Tomorrow is not here yet. Step number six. Remember that everything in life changes. In each new moment, you can start over. In each new moment, with each breath, everything is fresh.